everyone, I'm Sarah Satch and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet this adorable and silly snowman pillow. It's great for decorating, it's great for giving, and they're just fun to have around. I bet your kids and grandkids will enjoy squeezing on this adorable pillow. It measures about 13 inches from pom-pom to scarf. It's about 16 inches around, so it's a really nice size pillow. Not too big, not too small. Now I am going to show you how to crochet the whole thing and add the buttons for the charcoal eyes and mouth. Now if you have a little one that bites buttons or maybe might bite a button or even dogs that do, there is an alternative a crochet circle that is on the pattern. And of course, you can find that crochet pattern link with pictures and notes down in the notes underneath this video in that description box. To make our snowman pillow, you're going to need some blanket yarn. And the blanket yarn that I'm using is a super bulky number six. And I'm using this off white and this was left over from my Santa Owl project, the big squishy that we did. And so instead of going out and buying some more blanket yarn, I decided to use my off-white. You can use a bright white, any color of white. And to be honest with you, you don't even have to use white. <laughs> I'm just using white for the white on, or the off-white for the white on my snowman. And then you're going to need two different colors for the scarf and the hat of our snowman pillow. And I had these left over from another previous project. And um, these are blanket yarns, bulky number six. This is a variegated, and then this is a solid. We do the scarf in the variegated, and then we do the brim of the hat in the variegated, or I'm sorry, we do the brim of the hat in the solid, and finish off the hat in the variegated. But, of course, you can do your hat and scarf any way that you want and in any colors that you like. We're going to need just a little bit of medium weight number four yarn in orange for the carrot nose. And then I have some buttons here. I decided I wanted to do the eyes and the mouth with big black buttons. And these measure about one and a quarter inch. Uh, the package didn't say the size on it anywhere and I purchased these at my local Hobby Lobby over in um, the sewing section. Usually I find the best buttons over in the scrapbooking but I needed great big buttons and I've also seen these at Walmart and Joann's as well as um, your other fabric stores. They're just big black buttons. Let me open those because there's a lot of glare off that plastic. They just look like that. And you're going to need five of them. One for each eye and then three for the mouth. The package comes with six, just FYI. Now, if you're going to be making this for a small child that might pull those buttons off and put them in their mouth, you can use a medium weight number four black yarn and make some circle eyes. The pattern will have that on there as well. All right, so we're going to be using two crochet hooks today. We'll be using the N, which this N hook is a nine millimeter crochet hook, and we'll be using this for the snowman and the hat and scarf portion. When we go to make the carrot nose, we'll be using an H hook, which is a five millimeter, because we're using a medium weight number four yarn for that. All right, and then I have two needles out here. I have a bigger needle to weave in the ends for our bigger yarn and to sew the bottom of our uh, um, snowman hat <laughs> closed. And then you'll need a smaller needle for sewing on your buttons. Now you will also need some of this black medium weight number four yarn to sew your buttons on with and you'll need that small needle for that as well. And then of course the last thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors. We are going to be putting a pom-pom on the top of the hat of our snowman out of our 
bulky yarns so make sure you got a good pair of cutting scissors oh and don't forget you're going to need about maybe six ounces of polyester fiber fill to stuff your snowman pillow we're going to be starting at the bottom of our snowman so we'll start with the scarf section then we'll work up the head of our snowman and then we'll add our hat on the top all right so i've got the yarn that i'm using for my scarf start with that slip knot and we're going to loosely chain 35 chains we don't want to chain this too tightly because if we do the bottom of our snowman might be all puckered up all right so i've got my end hook which is a nine millimeter my bulky number six yarn i'm using for my scarf and I'm going to chain 35 chains. I've chained my 35 chains a little bit loose and now we're going to join to that first chain with a slip stitch and it's very important that you do not twist your chain. You want it to lay nice and flat and then we're going to chain three This chain three will count as our first double crochet. And now we're going to go in each chain and stitch a double crochet. This is forming the beginning part of our snowman pillow. We're making the scarf. So we're stitching one double crochet in each of those chains working all the way around. I stitched a chain three and then one double crochet in each of my chains around. Our chain three counted as our first, so we have 35 double crochets. We're going to join to that chain three with a slip stitch, but we're not going to chain three. We're going to cut our yarn. And we're going to bring in our white or off-white color that we want to use for our snowman. All right, so we're going to take it, bring it in, snug it down, and chain one. We're going to single crochet in that first stitch. Whoops, get that tail of yarn out of the way there. There we go. We're going to single crochet in that first stitch. And now we're going to single crochet in each of those stitches, working all the way around. And we're going to begin building up the face of our snowman. Because of course, our snowman pillow is just his scarf his face and his hat or her. It's up to you if you want to make a snowman or snow woman or maybe make one of each. That would be super cute. Alrighty, so I'm stitching one single crochet in each of the double crochets working all the way around. I stitched one single crochet in each of my double crochets around Again, I have 35 stitches. Every row up until we begin to do the decrease on the hat, we'll have 35 stitches. All right, so we're going to join to that first single crochet and chain one. All right, so for row three, we're gonna go right in that first single crochet and stitch a single crochet. And then again, we're going to stitch one single crochet in each of the stitches around. So I completed row three, stitching one single crochet in each of my single crochets around. I join back to my first single crochet and chain one. And again, I have 35 single crochets. And so what you're going to be doing for row four through row 12, which is nine more rows, is repeating row three which is one single crochet in each stitch around, join to the single crochet and chain one. 
and every row will have 35 single crochets. So this is how your snowman pillow should look at this point. We have this one row of our scarf stitched in double crochets. Then we have 11 rows of the white color we're choosing to do our snowman in. So we have 11 rows of single crochet and one row in the double crochet. So what we're going to do now is cut our yarn. So I'm going to be using this solid color for the stretchy band of my snowman's hat. All right, so I'm gonna bring in my blue. This is kind of a teal blue, very pretty. And it works well with the variegated that I'm using for the scarf and the top of the hat. So we're going to chain three. And now we're going to stitch one double crochet in each of those single crochets around. And this is the stretchy brim of our snowman's hat. One double crochet in each of the single crochets working all the way around. There we go. All the way around. And then join back to our chain three. I have completed my solid row of double crochets. Again, I have 35 double crochet stitches. And now we're going to join to the first chain three with a slip stitch. We're not going to chain three yet. We're going to bring in our variegated yarn and then chain three. One, two, three. And now we're going to begin our decrease stitches for the top of our hat. So this chain three counts as one, and I'm going to stitch one double crochet in the next three. One, two, and three. Now we'll stitch the next two together and what we call a double crochet decrease. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, Go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook instead of the usual three. Yarn over and go through the first three. Yarn over and go through the last two. So we've decreased by one stitch. And our repeat for this row is one double crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four, and then stitch the next two together in a double crochet decrease. And we'll repeat this working all the way around the top of our snowman's hat. One, two, three, four, and stitch the next two double crochets together in a decrease. And we'll continue to repeat this all the way around and join back to our chain three. So I completed this row, which is row 14. We did one, two, three, four double crochets and then stitch the next two together. So we're down to 28 stitches. We're going to join to our chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. And now for the next row, row 15, we're going to do it similar, only we're going to only have three stitches between each decrease. So our chain three counts as one, so we'll stitch two more, one in each of the next two. Then we'll stitch the next two together in that double crochet decrease. And so our repeat for this row is one double crochet in the next three. One, two, three, four, 
and then stitch the next two together. And then we'll repeat that all the way around and you'll see the top of our hat decreasing into that cute little snowman hat. So I have completed row 15. We stitched one double crochet in the next three, then a decrease in the, with the next two. And you can see how that's coming in to form that hat. And you're going to have 21 double crochets on this row. And so now we're going to do one more row with decreased stitches. So we join to our chain three and chain three. We're going to stitch one double crochet in the next. And then we're going to do a decrease with the next two. And so for this row, you're stitching one double crochet in the next two and stitch the next two together in a decrease stitch. And we'll repeat this working all the way around. And this is our last row for the top of our snowman hat one double crochet in the next two, stitch the next two together in a decreased stitch all the way around and join back to our chain three. So I completed that last row, one double crochet in the next two, and then stitch the next two together all the way around. You're going to have 14 double crochets on this last row. Now we're going to cut the yarn and we're going to leave about, oh, 12 to 14 inch tail of yarn because we're going to gather the top of the hat closed. All right, so we'll tie that off. We're going to grab that big needle and thread that on there. And this is the hardest part probably of this whole pattern is getting that thick yarn through there. All right, so now we're going to go around the top and we're going to go through the tops of those stitches in and out and gather up the top of this hat closed. It's real important that we gather this greatly and tightly and snugly because we don't want any of our stuffing coming out. Because I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure this is going to get played with by my grandkids. All right, pull that nice and snug. I'm going to make a loop there just so I can make sure it's nice and snug. Then I'm just gonna go around it again because I wanna make sure it's not going to come undone. And I'll just go around those stitches, just reinforcing what I just did. Because again, I know this baby is going to get lots of fun playing time. All right, so now the top is done. I'm going to take my needle and go in. Here's the inside of our snowman's hat and our snowman pillow. And I am going to make a loop like this and with this so I can tie that nice and secure. There we go, make those three knots. Then we can just clip that. All right, so now our snowman pillow has his hat, his face where his face should be, and his scarf. Now before we add the fringe and the pom-pom, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, we are going to stuff our pillow first, okay? And so I like to take a wad of it and stick it all the way up in the hat. And then I'll take the rest of it. And I'm using about six, maybe eight ounces of stuffing. It's kind of up to you how stuffed you want your snowman. 
I like mine to be squishy. <laughs> All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this matching yarn. We're going to cut off a piece of it. We're going to use our big needle and we're just going to whip stitch this closed. All right, so you can single crochet close it closed if you want to, but I just want to whip stitch it closed. And you need to decide where you want the front of your snowman to be. I want mine to be right here. So I'm just going to come over here. And I'm going to make a little loop there, get that going. We'll weave that in in a minute. And we're just first, I like to go back and forth. So I'm just going to go across and make a row of whip stitches. I call this my basting stitch because you're just basting it, putting it in place, and then we'll come back over and make sure it's nice and securely stitched. Now, if you would prefer to gather the bottom, you could do that. I just want mine to be flat on the bottom because I want mine to, to be able to sit. Now, if you want to add some polyester plastic beads in the bottom so that it sits up, you can do that too. There's lots of options when you're making little stuffies and pillows of what you can do. And so I'm just whip stitching this closed rather quickly. And I always do this basting stitch first. That way if I don't like the way that it looks, I can take it out and readjust. All right, so I'm at the corner here. I'm making a little stitch there. Take a look at it. I like how that looks. All right, so I'm just going to go back over what I just did and do another row of basting stitches. They're basically whip stitches. <laughs> and I'm just going back the other direction so that I know that it's going to stay securely stuffed when it's played with. So I'm all stitched up securely got my ends weaved in, and now my snowman needs all the details. So the next thing we're going to make is the nose. To make our carrot nose for our snowman, we're using medium weight number four acrylic yarn, like a super saver or I love this yarn. And then we're using our H hook, which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. We're going to start with our slip knot, and we're going to chain nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Now we'll slip stitch in the next two stitches. Now we're going to single crochet in those last five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to turn and we're going to work down the opposite or other side of the chain. So we'll single crochet in the first five. One, two, three, four, five, and then slip stitch in those last three. One, two, there we go, and three. And that's how easy and simple it is to make a carrot nose for our snowman. Now we're going to tie off we're going to leave ourselves a long piece of yarn to sew it onto our snowman. Carrot nose. All right, so here's my carrot nose. This is the long end that I left to sew it on, but we want to weave in this other end. So I've grabbed my smaller needle, thread that on, and we'll just go ahead and weave that into the back. So it's nice and neat. There we go. 
Now we need to decide exactly where on the front of our snowman that we want our nose. Now keep in mind that the whole portion here of our snowman is his face. And so I'm going to put my carrot right in the center, but I think I'm gonna point it up just a little bit. So I think I'm gonna put it on right about there. This is the front. I wanna have room for my eyes and my three buttons for his mouth. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just go in and make a loop. That way that's going to keep it where I want it to be. And I'm gonna tilt it down just a little bit. And we're gonna go around these edges. And I like to do the sewing on of pieces after it's already stuffed because you can grab on to that stuffing inside and it's going to help keep it in place. All right, so I'm going around the edges. There we go. And yeah, it might be a little more difficult doing it this way, but I really think that it's going to keep it more secure. Again, my thoughts are always on, it's going to get played with, and I want it to stay secure. All right, so I'm pretty happy where it's at, and I'm just gonna go around it again and stitch everything in place so that it stays nice and secure. So I've already sewn on the two eyes and two of the mouth because they're, we're wanting them to look like the charcoal that used to be put on snowmen for their eyes and mouth. Okay, so we've got the two up here for the eyes. Here's our carrot nose, and we have two on here. So we want this one to kind of come up a little so that it resembles the charcoal. And the way we do that is we decide where we want it. Make sure you go through stitches and not holes. We make a loop and come right back up. All right, then we put our needle in. And this button has nice big uh, eye holes or button holes. Make sure you go back in. Come up on that other side because you want this to be on securely. And then we'll make that cross on our button. And we'll do that a couple of times. My snowman's sliding a little on my table there. All right. Pull that securely. And make sure every stitch goes into a stitch because if you go in the holes in between, you'll end up with it not being secure. All right, and then once you get it sewn securely, you take that other tail and this tail of yarn and you just tie some knots. Nice and secure. You know me, I always do three. Then we're gonna slide those scissors underneath there and clip that. And so now our snowman has charcoal for a mouth and eyes and that we need to add the pom-pom and the little fringe for his scarf. So just to make a really quick pom-pom, you're going to need a piece of the yarn. So we'll just cut a piece off about 12 inches, 10, 12 inches. Then we're going to take both the yarns and I'm just going to make a loopy little pom-pom. I'm going to wrap it around my three fingers about 10 times. That should do it. Cut that. Take this, slide it inside. And you can use a pom-pom maker if you're more comfortable with that. And when you cut this blanket yarn, remember you're going to have a big mess. So I'm gonna move that 
I'm going to use this container that I like to use when I make a pom-pom. It just leaves little fuzzballs everywhere. So we're going to cut that first. And then I'm going to push it all down. And I'm not making a big pom-pom because I know, again, it's going to get played with a lot. But you can add more wraps and make your pom-pom thicker if you want to. All right, let's see. Mm, I think those need to be just a little bit shorter. So I'm going to try that again. Careful not to cut your hand. I've done that. <laughs> Trim those edges a little bit. Oh yeah, I like that much better. I just I just want a sort of loopy little pom-pom. Floofy, I guess would be a better term for it. But you can make one that's a lot snugger, tighter. Just wrap more wraps around. And we're just going to add this to the top. So we're just going to take the crochet hook. We're going to go here grab one of those strands and pull it across this way and then we're going to go the opposite direction for the other one we'll go across the top this way it makes it nice and even with our crochet <laughs> get in there <laughs> there we go and pull that across and this is the front of my pom-pom up here's the front and so I'm on the back side and I'm going to just tie that securely so it doesn't come off. Three good knots. And then I'll just trim that so that it blends right in with the pom-pom that's there. All right, isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, this is a hilarious little snowman. So I've cut some pieces that are about six, seven inches long. And what we're going to do is we're going to, on the side over here, we're going to just add some fringe just to make it look like he's got a scarf tied around his neck. And we want to use several different colors going around one of those double crochet stitches. All right, now we're going to go into the next one up. So it's kind of double layered. And I'm trying to use lots of the colors that are in the scarf as well as the hat. There we go. Let's see, let's add one more of the bright color. I think that's about six. <laughs> and see, now it looks like he's got a scarf with his fringe right there on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. I used six, it looks like. And of course, again, that's up to you how many you want to use. And so here is our finished squishy snowman. Fun little pom-pom. Black buttons for the coal eyes and mouth. We made a little carrot nose. And he has a little fringe on his scarf. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I, I think that's super fun. It's great for decorating even all the way through January. Because we get snow in January too. <laughs> so this is our silly little snowman pillow.